a seven-member Supreme Court panel on Tuesday slammed fixed the country convener Oliver Baka Vomawa for his role in a case filed by the group and two other pressure groups. Now, Mr. Bakavomawa appeared as lawyer for Benjamin Darko of Fix the Country, uh, Democracy Hub LBG, and Democratic Accountability Lab. The case filed by the three had asked the Supreme Court to punish the Commissioner General of the Ghana Revenue Authority for going ahead with the implementation of the e-levy policy despite an impending interlocutory application that was filed by three members of parliament. The court described the application as frivolous, ordering the youth activists to pay an amount of 10,000 CDs to the GRA. Court correspondent Joseph Akable reports. Contended that the Ghana Revenue Authority should not have proceeded to implement the e levy once three legislators filed for an injunction. When the case was called on Tuesday, the panel presided over by Justice Nena Megacha did not take kindly to the processes filed by Mr. Bakavomawo. The panel first questioned why he had failed to name the specific official he wanted to be the subject of the contempt action and why that official had not been served. The court drew the lawyer's attention to the high court rules and asked that he reach the rule. Mr. Bakavomawa, however, replied that he did not readily have the rules with him. This did not sit well with Justice Amegacha, who questioned why the youth activists had come to court without his tools. It then questioned the title of the case that had been filed. It also questioned the legal basis of the action against the Commissioner General of the Ghana Revenue Authority. The panel described the applicants as bystanders. It demanded a specific legal authority is provided by Mr. Bakavoma for this legal action. You just rushed to the court. Justice Professor Ashikote said. Justice Amegacha also took over. You just rushed to the court. So any matter a third party can jump in, you want us to punish a high-ranking official and you're saying anyone can just show up. Like just walking along the roadside and decide to take such an action. The court proceeded to deliver its ruling without even hearing from the Attorney General's office or lawyers for the GRA. It dismissed the case and awarded the cost of 10,000 cities against the youth activist. The case was heard by Justice Nenaya Megacha, Professor Ashikote, Mariama Ousu, Lovelace Johnson, Getro Tokonu, Professor Henrietta Mensa Bonsu and Imano Kulendi.